Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, I'm Justin. It's great to meet you. I'm a vocal coach. I've taught over 1,000 people in 100 countries how to sing. I myself <laughs> had a vocal transformation. I started with a really bad voice. And so all to say is that if you have that dream of being a singer, do not let it die. You don't have to be born with a great voice. If you are willing to invest your time and your resources, you can develop an amazing voice. So don't ever forget that. Oh, dang. Ah, those days of having a way with all that. Glad we're past it. Philippines, man. The Philippines, man. What is in the water? <laughs> is that not the most gorgeous, angelic voice? <sighs> Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh my gosh. It is so rare that a man is going to have that kind of control and strength, but also just incredible use of dynamics where he can go very soft, very breathy in his upper register, what you could call head voice. So rare. Men's vocal cords genetically are a bit thicker than females and they vibrate a bit slower, which is why... Um, for the most part, a man's voice is a bit lower and men have a harder time, uh, like getting through that break in the voice where most men would go, uh, maybe if you're not from the Philippines, because you, it's just unfair. Okay. Sheesh. You got to understand. I wasn't born with any of this. I didn't drink the water in the Philippines. Okay. I was stuck here in the United States and we don't have that kind of magical singing water over here. And so when I was coming out the womb, I was like, and ah, the land of the free. It was bad. Like I was so bad. You can check out some of my songs on Spotify. Now I was able to turn it around and now fast forward. I've taught thousands of people how to sing as well, specializing mainly on people um, and celebrities that don't have experience, think they have to be born with a great voice. And then we turn them around and actually make them amazing singers. So I don't even remember why I was telling you this. What does this have to do with him? Um, oh my gosh, my bad. I'm like going on a rant over here. What were we talking about? Oh, oh, most men don't have control over their head voice like he does. And it comes down to being able to control the coordination between two main muscles on the vocal cords. Remember this, the CT and the TA, cricothyroid, thyro, a retinoid here within the larynx on the vocal cords. Those control um, strength, pitch, control your voice, particularly, particularly the pitch. Okay. And so 
he has control over those. Now it's so difficult because you can't consciously feel your vocal cords, so you can't train them like you can train your arms. But okay, I'm ranting. Let's get back to this. Maybe we'll come back to technique and all that. But my the main thing that I was trying to say is that this is phenomenal, and most men just couldn't even dream of having that kind of control in the upper register. Fantastic. I want to hear what his speaking voice sounds like. This is what's so crazy to me about these karaoke videos in the Philippines and why we have to experience it. I'm adding that to our bucket list. I've got to experience karaoke in the Philippines. Can't just be watching it, reacting to it. But anyway, the fact that people aren't even phased, like this is just an, this is just what happens in the Philippines. Dude, I don't know if it's his voice or what, but my left eye is just tearing up. Come on, man! Yeah! Kitchens! <laughs> let's, let's just let him finish. Thank you so much for watching this reaction. I have more entertainment on the YouTube channel if you would like to check that out. If you are actually ready to improve your voice, invest in your voice, and do some real training, Check out my site and join my 90-day singing transformation challenge. You can get started for free with the link in the description. All right, tons of love. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.